हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू स्मिट कोडर दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट एपिसोड फॉर अवर वो कॉमर्स फ्लटर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप अवर वो कॉमर्स रेस्ट ए पी आई टू यूज इन अवर फ्लटर एप्लीकेशन और इन एनी अदर फ्रंट एंड एप्लीकेशन so first of all we have to make sure we are having these thing with us so that you can set up the apis and all you should have one domain name then you should have the ssl after that you need a wordpress install in that domain name along with that you need the woocommerce also over the application so this is our wordpress admin panel and there you can see we are having a wordpress version number 6.0.4.2 and for set up that apis and all you have to first go to the setting here inside that in the permalinks you have to click here and here you have to make sure you have selected the structure as a post name here and then you have to click here save here so now you have to do some setting in the server setting also if you are using that linux machine then you have to do the changes in the dot ht access for that you have to put this lines of code and over there and in case you are using that windows server then you have to do the changing in the web dot config file and these are the changing you have to do there so now we have to go to our woocommerce settings here you have to click on the advanced here here you have to click on the rest api and from here you have to create a keys here and these keys will be used for accessing the apis from our woocommerce to our any front end application so now we will click here in the add key here you have to put the description here like if we put here demo keys and here you have to select the user then the permission make sure you are giving the read and write both permission because read permission will only get the data from that woocommerce but we also need the write permission also so that we can create the order and everything over there by our apis and all for that purpose we require the read and write both then we have to click on the generate api keys so from here you can copy this information also you can download this qr code and you can scan it and you will get both the consumer key and consumer secret and make sure you will copy from here because once you go back to any other screen then this will be not visible anywhere and you will not able to recover these keys so you have to make sure you will copy these keys in the secure place and all so these are the setting which will be required in the woocommerce so that we can make the apis accessible and all so now let's do some test in our postman or any other http rest client and we will do the cat aps testing and all so first of all you have to put the url here in the request get request after that you have to put a slash then you have to put here wp hyphen json slash wc slash v3 slash and you have to put the endpoint for the whatever the api you are testing here and here we are just testing for that product api we will put here products after that we have to put some query parameters and here we will put here consumer underscore key and you have to put a consumer key which we have getting in the api keys creation and all in the wordpress then you have to put a consumer underscore secret and you have to put your secret key and one thing you will notice here the consumer key will be start with the ck underscore the key and in the same way consumer secret will be start with the cs underscore this key after that we have to put here per page that means how many records we have to show per page and we will put here 10 and here we have to put the page like a page number for that the data we are showing here we will put here 1 and now we will click on this send button you will see here load is loading here and we will get the response here you can see here we are getting all the response here like the product name param links date created then we have the type status features everything we are getting here for that 
product related so now the issue is like we are getting a lot of information in this product details but we require the limited details so that our mobile application or any front-end application will be faster and because if we get all this information then the response will be slow here like you can see here we are getting the response in six seconds just for the 10 record and we are getting all the unnecessary data also which is not required so to overcome this problem we have the solution for this one so what we have to do for that here in the parameter we will add a new field here we will put a underscore fields we will put here for the array and we will put the field name which we required here we will put a name and again we have to copy this one we will paste here and here we will put here price same way we can do for the id also product id so now we will click here send here you can see here we are getting the same number of records here but the data which we are getting here is name price and the id of the product id and also you will notice here the time which has been taken for getting this response is around 4.61 second that means two seconds faster this api is because we are just returning here only the required field which is required for our application and you can see here we are having a name price id in this way if whatever the field is required for as per your requirement you can just put here in this field and you will only get the data for that particular fields only so now let's move further and this is all about our get api requests and all in the same way we can do for the other apis also like if we put here products slash categories and we will get the response for that categories and all you can see here we are getting here id and then we have the name of the category like this way we are getting all the data for the categories also so now let's move further and now we will do the http post request here for that http post request we are going to do for our login process and for doing the login process we require one plugin in our wordpress and the plugin name is jwt authentication for wp rest api version 2 this one we have to install in our plugin section so here we have already installed this plugin you can see here this jwt authentication for wp rest api and if we click on this view detail you will see this is the same plugin so now we will go to our rest client to test this api so here we will create a new request here so here we have to change the url and we have to remove it from here after this wp json we have to put here jwt auth slash v1 slash token and we have to change it here post request in the headers we have to pass here content type and we have to use the content type as a application this one application slash x www form you are encoded in the body we are going to use our form encode and here we will put username password and before doing that we will just disable this plugin and we will see the before and after result of this api here we will disable this plugin you can see here this plugin disable here so now we'll go back there we'll put here test test and we will click here send you will see here we are getting here error that is no route was found matching the url and request method that means this route is not found because we have disabled the plugin here so now what we will do we will enable that plugin so now this plugin is unable here we will go back there now we will click again on the send request now you will notice here that response has been changed this response is coming with the help of this plugin here and here you will see we are getting a code message data in the message you will see here user test is not registered on this site if unsure of your username try email address instead so now we will do one thing we will put here the valid username and password here snippet coder at the rate gmail.com and we will put here username password test one two three four five six now we will click on the send here you will see here we are getting a token here user email user nice name user display name so on the basis of this token we will just get the user id and that all that parsing and all we will cover in our flutter application and all so in this way we will able to do the post request also with our apis and all 
So that's all about our API setup in the WooCommerce and all. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the next video, we will do the integration of this API in our Flutter application all and we will continue our series for that Flutter with the WooCommerce series. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.